Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and it has been a while since I posted a video. <laughs> we have been so busy and there has been so many huge life changes and exciting things going on and I have just um, not quite had the bandwidth for YouTube but I wanted to come on here and give an update on what's been going on with us. So the biggest news, I guess, is that we moved across the country. We are not in Montana anymore. We are in Texas now. We moved officially in February, but we had sold our house and gotten everything out of it in December. Um, we had a house bought here in Texas. Luke moved all of our stuff up here right away and replaced the roof right away uh, because it rains here a lot and the roof was about to give out. Um, and then he came back and we all went on a vacation we had been planning for about a year. We went to Maui with my mom and siblings for three weeks, which was amazing. We had so much fun. And then after we went to Maui, we came back home. We picked up um, the few animals we had left and we drove to Texas. So we sold all of the chickens and the ducks, the geese, the sheep. Um, the guineas, I sold Charlotte, my milk cow, which I was just heartbroken over and I tried so hard to bring her, but it was just going to end up being too expensive and I was worried about bringing her from such a cold, dry climate to such a hot, humid climate. Um, she could have really easily gotten sick, um, but we did end up bringing Eleanor the calf because calves can just acclimate so much better and her growing up in this climate will just give her a better chance of thriving here. So we, we came home from Maui, we picked up Eleanor the calf from my friends who were watching her, we got our two big dogs, and we drove for three days across the country. My mom drove with us, she had her big dogs and their cats and my siblings, and it was a big caravan and we drove through blizzards and over icy roads and February is just not the greatest time in the world to move across the country. but. I'm glad it's over with and I'm really glad that we got here when we did because we've had a lot of time to acclimate to the heat here, which has been really good because now it's starting to get really hot. So you might be wondering why on earth would we have gone through all that trouble of moving across the country? Well, the main reason is that we wanted to be debt free. Being debt free is something that's been a goal of ours for a long time and um, being fin financially responsible and financially um, just safe um, and land in Montana has gotten so like ridiculously expensive it's gotten so out of hand and owning a house there was just a, a really big struggle to pay the mortgage every month we had a huge mortgage um, so we ended up being able to sell our house in Montana and buy twice the amount of land here and be 100% debt free so we have a 20 acre property here with a house on it and a pond and a creek and forest and pasture land and it's all debt free. So if being debt free is a goal of yours, um, be willing to move states to accomplish that goal because I promise it's worth it. The other reason was that Montana was really just too cold for me. Like seven months out of the year, it was too cold and I had to either have, be all bundled up in my big winter coat or at least have a sweater on. It just wasn't comfortable outside. There was just such a small amount of time where it was actually comfortable and warm enough for me or really for any of us. The kids didn't like to play out in the snow that much. Um, and since I've started having kids, I haven't gone snowboarding really that much. It, um, just doesn't feel as safe to me. So we just suddenly realized like we could, like we're free to move wherever we, wherever we want and we should move somewhere warmer. So we are in East Texas now where it is super warm. It is May right now and it has been 90 degrees out lately and it's very high humidity here. It's gorgeous, lush green. It's not really what you think of when you think of Texas. When you think of Texas, you think kind of like dry, flat um, pasture land. But East Texas looks more like Tennessee to me, where it's like very rolling hills. It's very, very thick forest everywhere, very tall trees, and it's absolutely beautiful. 
So, and it's very humid. So the heat and humidity has been something to get used to, but I really love it. It's it's a lot easier to handle than the cold of Montana, for sure. So we, when we first moved here, we had our, our big dogs, we had Eleanor the calf, and almost right away, I brought home another milk cow. Uh, she is a registered Guernsey, her name is Lois, and I brought her home right away so that Eleanor wouldn't be by herself, and that so we would have our own raw milk right away. And we have been milking her for the last few months and she is bred to have a calf in September and we are going to be drying her up pretty soon so she's got a couple months of a break before she has her calf. So um, we also have ordered chicks. Luke built another chick shaw because we didn't we didn't bring our chick shaw from Montana. We didn't we didn't bring much of anything. Um, so he built the new chick shaw. We've got chicks coming soon and guineas and uh, we're going to get a goose to raise with them. And so we're, it feels like a little bit like we're starting over, but at least I have my milk cows, which makes me really happy. But yeah, that's kind of like a brief update with what's been going on with us lately. I'm going to try to do some vlogs soon so you guys can see more of our property and see more of what our life is like here in Texas and our new house that we're working on remodeling. And yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed that short little update and I will see you in the next video. Bye.